good morning students so let's start our last module and the last module mainly covers harbors breakwaters and docks okay so let's start with harbors so uh, up to this we have studied different modes of transportation like railway highway airway etc okay that is this roadways and railways are common means of transportation on land okay and uh, waterway or water transportation is a common method uh, since hundreds of years ago for uh, traveling between different countries which are connected uh, by seas or oceans okay and air travel or uh, air traffic is a common uh, method of transportation through airways and all the all these means of transportation need place of approach for using them that is for example uh, in the case of uh, railway railway system railway stations are uh, railway stations are needed uh, for uh, approach and also in the case of roadways bus stops are required and uh, in the case of airways aerodromes are constructed uh, for uh, approaching that uh, system like this uh, harbors are developed for the use of waterways okay and this uh, air travel all of you know that air travel is very costly uh, even though it covers entire earth surface and cannot be adopted as common means of travel and the movement of uh, la movement on land is easy uh, through roadways and railways but area available is very uh, very uh, low comparing to uh, other modes of transportation and uh, on uh, our country uh, all of you know that uh, two thirds of the entire earth surface is covered by water so this waterway is an important mode of transportation and as an approach for this waterway harbors are very essential okay so uh, we can discuss about harbor so as navigation is developed uh, ships require some uh, places uh, to find shelter okay so a uh, harbor is a place where ships boats and barges can seek shelter from stormy weather okay so harbor can be defined as a sheltered area of the sea in which vessels could be launched built or taken for repair or could seek refuge in time of so uh, storm or provide uh, for loading and unloading of cargo and passengers okay so harbor uh, the main functions of harbor are uh, sh vessels can be launched here or can uh, used for repairing work and also it can uh, have a refuge uh, in time of storm and it also provide uh, for loading and unloading of cargo and passengers and this harbors protect ship naturally or artificially from fury of sea okay and ships boats and barges can seek shelter from stormy weather in navigable waters and this uh, this harbor area are well protected naturally or artificially okay and these harbors are situated along seashore or river estuary or lake or canal connected to sea so we can uh, uh, we can discuss the classification of harbors and these harbors are classified uh, based on different criteria first one based upon protection needed second one based on utility third one based upon location and depending upon the protection needed uh, the harbors are classified as natural harbors or uh, natural roadsteads then semi natural harbors and artificial harbors and depending upon the utility or the function of this harbor it is classified as harbors of refuge commercial harbors fishery harbors military harbors and marina harbors and depending upon the location of these harbors it is uh, classified as canal harbor lake harbor river harbor sea or ocean harbor so we can discuss one by one first one natural harbor so here natural formations provide facilities for ships on sea coast in the form of basins that is here the uh, facilities are uh, pr uh, facilities are created by natural methods only this harbors are created by natural process okay and this uh, this natural harbor should uh, should also have facilities for repair storage of cargo and uh, connected amenities had to be provided in natural harbors okay all the facilities should be available here uh, example of natural harbor is bombay okay so here these structures are formed naturally this harbor area is developed naturally this is the example showing natural harbor next is semi natural harbor and here harbors is protected on sides by headlands that is it requires man made protection only at the entrance that is uh, at the entrance area there is man made protection and this area is created uh, naturally okay so it is known as semi natural this uh, man made protection is built uh, for example breakwaters and this breakwaters are uh, built in order to protect the harbors from the heavy uh heavy waves of water 
okay so these uh, breakwaters are man made protection structures so at uh, entrance uh, it require a man made protection and uh, in this side it is uh, natural structure only so it is known as semi natural harbor for example visakhapatnam and artificial harbor means natural facilities are not available here that is construct artificial shelters for ships boats etc by using engineering skills and other methods that is here artificial structures are constructed using engineering skills no na natural features are available here here the entire harbor is uh, created by engineers uh, using engineering techniques okay and it is also known as man made harbors because these uh, structures are man made it is an area protected from effect of waves either breakwaters or by dredging so area is protected by using this breakwaters or by dredging method example madras harbor so it is artificial harbor next is classification based on utility or the purpose for which the harbors are built so first one harbors of refuge that is here the harbors are in this type harbors are uh, constructed for sheltering purpose for refuge on dangerous coastlines disabled or damaged ships under stress of weather conditions will need uh, quick shelter and immediate repairs so for sheltering uh, or for uh, repairing works this type of harbors are uh, provided so it is known as harbors of refuge so the requirements uh, for this type of harbors are uh, ready accessibility from the high seas and safe and convenient anchorage against the sea then facilities for obtaining supplies and repairs next is commercial harbor so it is uh, uh, from the name uh, itself it is clear that this type of harbor is used for commercial purpose and uh, so it is situated on coast uh, on coast or rivers and uh, they do not normally have any demand like harbors of refuge because here it is uh, basically used for commercial purpose so the facilities for uh, this commercial purpose is uh, required so the facilities are there should be spacious accommodation for the uh, mercantile marine and there should be adequate space and facilities for transporting loading and unloading of cargo since it is used for commercial purpose there should be uh, so much facilities for uh, loading and unloading of cargo then storage sheds for cargo and there should be uh, there should not be any delay between uh, the transporting of this uh, cargoes okay good and quick repair facilities to avoid delay okay so these are the facilities uh, which is to be needed for a commercial harbor next is fishery harbor so this type of harbor is mainly used for fishing purpose okay so the requirements are harbor should be constantly open for departure and arrival of fishing ships and uh, there should be loading and unloading facilities and quick dispatch facilities for fish catch and uh, uh, refrigerated stores with uh, ample storing space for preserving the catch so these are the uh, minimum requirements which is which is to be needed for a fishery harbor since it is used for uh storage of uh, this fishes there should be a refrigerating system and there should be loading and unloading facilities for uh, fish catch and uh, it should be constantly open for departure and arrival of fishing ships next is military harbor so it is uh, used for military purpose that is these harbors are naval bases which are meant to accommodate the naval vessels so they serve as a uh, supply of depot that is it is uh, actually used for a storehouse for the uh, military supplies and uh, marine and uh, bombay harbors have a naval bases so this military harbors are ma mainly used for military purpose next is marina harbor marina harbors provide facilities of fuel food showers uh, washing machine telephones for small boat owners having temporary or permanent berths and the main facilities which is provided for this marina harbors are there, sh there will be resort facilities yacht club sports fishing marina pubs okay and these are located nearer to big cities so that they have visited by big volume of population for recreation so mainly for this purpose this uh, marina harbors are provided and this marina harbors are classified into two types uh, large marina and uh, small marina large marina means it will be having 200 or more berths and uh, cater large boats and the space available is limited so create a long waiting list to get, uh, to get berth and the small marine means it have less than 100 berths and it is located on fresh water or on coastal water so these are the classification based on uh, utility of the harbor next last classification based upon location okay that is canal harbor means here harbors are located along the canal and if the harbors are uh, constructed along the shore of lake it is known as lake harbor and uh, if the harbor is constructed along the bank of river it is known as river harbor 
and if it is located on the coast of sea they are intended for sea going vessels and that type of harbor is known as sea or ocean harbor okay so these are the classification of uh, harbor based upon uh, utility then based on uh, location and based on protection needed okay so this is about uh, harbor classification uh, next we can discuss about the classification of uh, sorry the site selection that is uh, the requirements for a, a site which is uh, choosing for harbor so first one there will there should be availability of cheap land and construction materials that is the uh, uh, site which is selected for harbor construction should be cheap land and also there should be uh, availability of construction material second one there should be transport facilities and also communication facilities to that area okay and uh, next uh, natural protection from the this area should have natural protection from winds and waves and uh, that area should be industrial development uh, of the locality that is the uh, that area sh uh, should have uh, minimum uh, development on the industry basis and uh, uh, seabed subsoil and foundation conditions should be adequate to construct the harbor harbor appurtenance and uh, traffic potentiality of harbor that is uh, traffic uh, uh, traffic system should be well developed in that area then there should be availability of electric energy and fresh water and uh, favorable marine conditions should be there and uh, uh, that area should have defense and uh, strategic aspects okay so these are the uh, requirements or factors which is to be considered while we are selecting a site for uh, harbor construction so this is the introduction introduction of uh, this uh, harbor classification site selection extra next i will put on the next video thank you